Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. I'm currently in the process of rebuilding my map in 1.2 using single track. So if I, for example, zoom in on Portsmouth, you can see I've got the new junctions making use of the single track. For example, Portsmouth and the South Sea now works properly. Fratton's got its three platforms. So currently I've done Southwestern Railway and most of Southern. Today I thought it would be quite nice to do East Croydon and Selhurst Junction recorded because they're, it's quite a complicated junction and I did not do it justice last time only having double tracks so I felt like it would be quite fun to record. I just set up all my settings to build East Croydon Station so we have two double platforms in the middle and two single platforms on the sides. The other thing rebuilding the map has given me the advantage of doing is actually making the stations roughly the right length. Before, when I built this area especially, I made the stations 250 meters, uh, no, 200 meters. And then the game changed distance, how distances worked a bit, and every station length doubled in effect. So every station I built was 400 meters, which was way too long. Now I'm building them at the correct roughly 250 meters. That is enough for a 12 car train. So it's roughly right. I think some of them are more like 300 in reality. Which seems to be working a little better. So just to build the tracks down to South Croydon, which is how far I got before this video. So I think it comes in here and this one will come along parallel. The issue I am having at the moment is the Control Z still doesn't work and it's very easy to misclick in this version. 1.2 is still in beta at time of recording and I imagine will be for a while. So it's it's not necessarily perfect. There we go. Now to work out what the single track does on each side. So I believe we have one come off here, branch it out, bring it along parallel and then bring it out there. What I might do is slightly change that curvature. We also have a set of points across here and two sets of points across like this one there and one here further down but the other thing to consider is the final track on the right and that just stays parallel all the way down to South Croydon I think in reality so we'll just get that in quickly I know the spacing is a mess along here, but while I could fix it, the time it would take to fix it is probably not worth the benefits I'd gain. So, okay, zooming back in again. What we have is a crossover here, so it comes out there, it comes out here, and doesn't do that, because that's not right, crossover and the same the other way, I guess. And we also have, in line with that, a switch across from there to there. Further down from the crossover, we then have switches out to the outside tracks of the main four. So I think that then means you can get from all four tracks to all six platforms. The fifth track is a bit of an excess one. What I'm then going to do is just go down and double check. There's one set of points at South Croydon I need to put in. That is from there over to here. There we go. That's that stretch done. Meanwhile, north of East Croydon, we have 
again, five tracks in effect. Got the... Yeah, some, sometimes it lags like that. I don't know why. But this time it's the track on the left that's the fifth extra one. No, please don't connect to anything. Why would you do that? And the one on the right just connects in like so. Then we also have more crossovers to get between different platforms. There and here. And then a crossover between the two middle ones. Like so. That's done. And then obviously we have the switches back out again. I don't have enough space for this yet, so actually I'm going to extend these lines a bit further. Which I do have space for. It's a bit of time until the Selhurst Triangle Junction starts. I have to zoom in so that it won't try and connect to itself. There we go. Back to the switches. Come out of here, across to here, and out of here, across to here. Now I'm going to try and work out why that switch is arguing. I think I just need to pull it down like there. There we go. Uh, I say arguing as if it was a bad thing. Like it wasn't actually going to break anything what it had, but it was irritating me. So. <laughs> Then what we also have is a double track along here, in effect, that goes down to a single at the end, like so. There we go. And we also have a switch across onto the, uh, the running line. And those are some sidings, which I've chosen to put in arbitrarily. Now then, further up we have to work out what's going on with the line. So, I think we bring the double track on the right up first. That's going to be easiest. And then the middle double track. which will sort of come round here and then the single track which will come along parallel to that because this is effectively three tracks that then become two no don't do that why would you do that and I can't control Z so I have to delete more than would be ideal this is the issue with this version of the beta it's a bit too quick to try and arbitrarily connect tracks together compared to the main release version which is unfortunate hopefully it will change in the future okay I've just looked ahead to see kind of how the junction works because I've kind of forgotten so it comes along like so round here We'll just go up to there for now. I need to split onto having the double track on the left and the single track on the right. That's fine. And then when we are up here, it goes down to two tracks like that. Sorted. Now then, back previously, all the way up here, we have a double track set of points off like so and that kind of comes underneath stuff meanwhile this double track continues around onto a bridge over although it, it needs to not be at that sort of angle needs to more be sort of going up there 
in fact the other side of this path even. That's a lot further over than I thought it was. But that will do. Then we have a single track crossover between the two and a single track split off to run along down here. So basically when the colour changes I think it's just it's trying to form a crossover as well as a set of points. It thinks it's trying to form an intersection. It doesn't actually affect the running I don't believe. It, it might make it slightly less efficient. I guess we'll have to see. I then I want to remove this because... Uh, no, I want double track. I know that we need to be on a bridge to go over the line that comes in there from south, southwest Croydon. There's a lot of Croydons. It's a bit difficult to remember all of them. Meanwhile, that bridge is way too far south, actually. It needs to be all the way up here. That's a bit better. Maybe if I drag these up as well, I can get it a bit more curve. The curve a bit more accurate. There we go. Words, I could talk good. Then this one also comes across like so and wraps around and sort of in. Then I'm going to go and get the double track out of West Croydon, uh, which comes up here and through there. Then also has a split off from there up here. I'll get back to that in a second. Actually, I won't. I'll get back to it now. <laughs> I say I'll get back to it in a second. This double track just comes straight into Selhurst. That's fine. I'm going to move the nodes a bit so I can make the curve a bit better. This one also effectively just goes straight into Selhurst. What we then have is a set of points off here that come down and connect to that, and a junction across from here. Now this does happen sometimes when you do double points, you just have to flip the node so you can connect the two together. I've done it again, I think it's when you're coming off in the opposite direction to the way you built the original track. It does that, but it's easy enough to solve. You just click flip. Then we also have a junction off of there going out here. Sorted. We'll come back to that. I was going to say we'll come back to it in a minute, but actually bringing it through now would not be a bad shout. Meanwhile, we've got this double track coming along that I want to bring up here. I think what might be the best bet actually is to build Norwood Junction Station and then we can bring the tracks into the crep platforms. So, first things first. We have two... It's basically the same layout as East Croydon. Uh, two doubles and a single either side. That is way too long. Um... Let's bring it down to... It's also way too far south. Okay, let's bring it up here. <laughs> and then take all of these nodes and bring them along here. So that the station is just 250 metres. And extend those ones out. And we're sorted. That's a more accurate sort of length for it. Now then, this gets very complicated actually. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be less complicated than it is. So, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is make some guesses as to where some of these junctions happen. Um, I thought I was building doubles, but no. So, double. We're going to come along here. We're going to come underneath somewhat. And out along here. This double track comes into this set of platforms, confusingly. Then we have this double track come along, and it splits somewhat. Give me a second. <laughs> I've, I've got to get another track off of here that I'd forgotten about. 
the track comes down like this. I'll just make sure... I'm going to have to double check that quickly. Okay, map has been checked. I need to move this node across to here. That's more accurate. Right then. Then this line comes along and basically runs parallel to the double track. All the way through here and up and out. And what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to leave it there for now because I'm not 100% how it continues from that, is I'm going to constrain it in line with the nodes. Well, I'm, I'm going to remove that constraint and pull it out a bit. So this effectively works the same way as the double track originally worked, in that now if I move one of the three nodes, all three will move. So it's effectively a triple track now. It's not strictly speaking correct, but it's close enough for the purposes. Right then. I do want it to be a bit more sort of out like this. That'll do. I want to have a set of points across from here over to here. And I want to move that so that that doesn't happen, if I can avoid it. I then want to have this line curve out and join up there. Meanwhile, this track comes across the top. This flyover is for the uh, London Overground getting over to West Croydon. Because it's quite a frequent service, it needs extra space in effect. It couldn't just have a level crossover like a lot of the junctions are here. I think this junction is intended to be rebuilt in the near future to convert a lot of the level crossings to flyovers and dive unders to increase capacity, but that has not happened yet. <laughs> okay, and we also have this set of points comes out to do that. And then finally over here there is a siding that I will just add in quickly. There we go. I need another double track now that's going to come along here and this will form the other double track in Norwood Junction, like so, and is formed from these two lines. So that's sorted. Then we have a third track running alongside that is a siding, apparently. It just stops, so I assume it's a siding. It's a bit weird. And it's actually... It's an interesting one because it means this platform can't actually access anything. The only access it gets is by reversing across this crossover at this end. I know Norwood Junction doesn't have any terminating services, there's no point to have a terminating platform. So I'm intrigued as to why, what purpose that junction, that line serves. Maybe the map's wrong. If you, uh, if you know why that platform exists, or if it even is a platform, of course, it could just be a, a loop around the station. Um, let me know in the comments, because I'm a bit confused. Okay, that's connected in. Now we just have to get the line into the last platform. Which is also going to be difficult. Well, I say it's going to be difficult. Actually, what it's going to be is this single track will continue coming up and we'll just go out into it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick parent there, flip, and also here, or on the correct side. There we go, those constraints are fine, and then it moves out into platform one. Now it gets a bit more complicated because we have to get the line from 
the other from the curve in, so this this line has to come around it in. While also sorting out Selhurst Depot, which is where the real complicatedness comes into play. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a depot here. This is strictly speaking four tracks, but we're going to go with one because it simplifies things. This line will come along here and will connect up around here somewhere, I guess. We'll just bring a set of points out here and connect. Then again, we're going to parent it to the triple line, make it a quad line. This will probably be the last bit we do today because this is becoming very complicated now and it's taking quite a while. But there we go. That's the line into the depot complete. Then what we need is the double track line coming round comes in parallel to that for at least a bit of its length. I'm not going to say that far. So we'll, we'll run it parallel up to here. Now the problem is I need to pick parent there and then change that to 10 metres so that they're far enough apart. I think except it's not 10. Right, remove constraint. This. Uh, well, what's going to be easiest, actually, is going to be building the other direction. So, new plan. We're going to start out here at this node and build back. I've done similar to this once before. I did it for the Clapham Junction to Waterloo section. I had like 12 parallel lines running there. Um, I need to pull that down a bit just because then it makes the curvature a bit better there. Then this one, you just have to get the node that isn't already associated with another node on the correct side so you can associate it. There we go. Then we are going to, uh, actually I'm going to remove that constraint quickly. We're going to pull out of there in such a way that that still stays reasonably spaced. And if I remember the map correctly, because I'm not currently looking at it, it sort of comes off like this. So, then back down here where they connect together, we have a line over from here to here and from here into the reception road in effect, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not sure if it actually is the reception road. We also have a crossover from here to this line. And let's try and see if I can't remove that. There we go. It's easier to see what's going on if everything's the same colour. Then have an entrance to the depot like that, which I'm just going to leave blank for now. The, the depot is not going to be totally 100% accurate just because it's not going to be possible to do that. Uh, and we also have lines across from there to here. Here to here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move these back a little bit. So if I move that back to there, there there and I shrink the points in effect as well out of this just to give myself some more space to work with. This is the nice thing about the update is you can move points nodes. <laughs> if you don't have enough space to fit in your junctions you don't need to rebuild everything you just move everything. Then we also have two lines out of here sort of so we've got one out there, and another one out here. It's really hard to see what's going on now, but rest assured I kind of know what's going on under there. This has a connection around to this. And then this line comes in 
up here and stops. Meanwhile, there's also a junction off of here that forms three sidings that I will try and get all of in. Although they're not going to be 100% accurate. Finally, south of here, there's another junction out. It turns out I've got all of this junction in the wrong place and it's actually all meant to be down here, but oh well, we can deal with that by doing this. <laughs> that looks ugly. Let's fix it. Um, yeah, it's not strictly speaking correct. It just needs to get down to here. And then these go into all of the depot lines. In effect. So I... As I can't really do it terribly accurately, I'm just going to check there's... What's going on? There's no entrances to depots at the other end of the depot. So I'm going to have one, two, three. Now the problem is, that I found it might have been fixed in one of the later betas. Because I haven't put a depot down for a while. I was having issues for a period where I could not get... Um, like depots anywhere in the near vicinity of a station platform would cause a collision. Like this was close enough that that would have caused a collision and you wouldn't have been able to build the depot. It seems to have fixed itself now, so that's something. What I am going to do is pull this back up here, bring this around, and then this line can come out the back like so and it's it's kind of stylized that this would actually be multiple sidings in real life but for the purposes of the game is just the one um, because I can't bother to build all of the ones that are meant to be there and then we rename this Norwood Junction there we go, the junction is finished. Selhurst Triangle. How much did that cost at the end? 83 grand. Oh no, more than that, 83 million even. Just for East Croydon and this junction. It is a complicated junction though, and this is so much more accurate than my original version of it. Um, the origin, my original version, because everything had to be double tracks, nothing worked properly, everything collided with each other. It was a real bottleneck, and it is a real bottleneck in real life, but not as much as I had it. This should run a lot better, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.